Good morning, students and staff. It's Tuesday, the 15th of October, and it's time for the WBDQ Top Dog News. Coming to you from the media center. Have you stopped your work to listen? Reporting for today are Nala and Bryson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It's time for all school announcements. Are you listening? When I say peanut butter, you say jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. Peanut butter. Jelly. We like to celebrate our students who have birthdays this week and weekend. Vincent in kindergarten. Maya in first grade. Landon in second grade. And Bentley in fourth grade. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. What are our lunch choices for this week? This week is na this <laughs> um um this week is National School Lunch Day. Theme is find your treasure. Our choices include fish and chips, barbecue chicken tenders, pizza sticks. General, General Chester, General, General Chester Chicken, Cheeseburgers, Corn Dogs, Bento Boxes, Sandwiches, Salads, and Pizza. Pizza. Is there anything going on this week? Our Fall Festival is happening this Thursday night at 5.30 p.m. The Book Fair is happening this week. Today, 5th grade. Today, fifth grade will have a, the, have a field trip to Craven Community College for their Cal Fair. They'll learn about different careers. Now, please welcome Miss Green. What is up, my dudes and dudettes? Today, I'm feeling psyched. This means really excited, prepared, and ready. Today is the first official day of student council, which makes me psyched. If you filled out an application, met all the requirements, and received an invitation, you will meet today in the cafeteria. Today we will meet a little later than usual due to the fifth grade field trip. So, fourth graders, I will come by and pick you up for our meeting. Again, fourth graders, I will come by and pick you up. Now, have you ever been psyched about something? Maybe for your birthday, Christmas, a vacation? Do you get money from the tooth fairy when you lose a tooth? We can feel psyched and ready for a lot of things to happen. This is an awesome feeling, but we must remain calm and not rush our life away. I know we want to go crazy, but we must remember there is a time and place. We are going to do an activity today to help us remain calm. I want you to close your eyes and notice your heartbeat. Notice the top of your head, your nose, your ears, your mouth and travel down to your neck, and your shoulders, your upper arms, your elbows, your hands and your fingers. And notice your legs, your knees, your shins, your feet and your toes. All right, you can open up your eyes. I hope when you are psyched about something, you can use this strategy to help you remain calm when needed. Thanks for joining me for Emotion of the Week. See you later, alligators. And now, welcome Miss Harley. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Good morning, Bryson. Well, so, y'all know I'm never on the news. Well, it's just like my thing, because you know, I get real nervous when I'm on camera. I don't know how the anchors do it every day. So I just want to share some things with you, because yes, the book fair is here. You saw me last week setting it all up, and it's always an exciting time. I always feel bad for all the students walking by the windows. They see me in here, and I've got books all over the place, and I'm having fun, and y'all are just looking in the windows, wishing you can come in. Well, today's the day. Today's the opening day of the book fair. I just brought some books to show you, just some examples of things we have. Um, I know. It's I Survived. It's a really popular series, and this, of course, is the graphic novel version of it. And this one is Pompeii, The Destruction of Pompeii. Very uh, well-known um, volcano. And then this one, I, I would never read this one, but I guess you guys love these, right? The Essential Handbook, Pokemon. This one's heavy, feel that. I know, <laughs> when I picked up the box, I could barely lift the box up. They were so heavy, there's so many of them. So that's Pokemon. Obviously we have picture books. I got this one, it's on um, Flat Cat. He was born flat, he wasn't squished though. 
but read about flat cat. <laughs> and then lastly, I've got a chapter book, lots of chapter books. Please pay attention. Look at that little red, that red sticker on there that says $3. We have two tables of $5 and under books. So definitely look there, especially if you're on a budget. Go look around the table. There are chapter books, there are graphic novels, there are picture books, there are all kinds of books there. So lots of things to look at in the book fair, including our fun table where uh, Miss Harley has to get a pen pretty much every year. Um, but remember, it is a book fair, so we want to see you looking at books when you come in. And enjoy yourself. And don't forget Fall Festival. You can shop at Fall Festival this week, too. All right? See you at the book fair. Thank you for watching, and remember the three Bs. Be respectful, be responsible, and, and be safe. Make it a great, great BDK day. day. So we'll, we'll see you all next time on Top Dog News. news.